dip into my grandson's college tuition fund, but it was totally worth it because there's no greater feeling than driving down the road and honking at the pretty ladies in this thing. How's it going guys? It's your boy Brown Tall Guy. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me and let's get started. Uh, today we're going to continue working on the 2004 Saturn Ion. If you guys have not watched my previous video, go check out that video first so you have an idea on why I bought this car. Um, as I mentioned, this vehicle is going to be used for commuting from work so I can care less what happens to it. But I do want to make sure it's reliable so it doesn't leave me stranded. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, there was no issue whatsoever. The car has 100,000 miles, everything works. Uh, brakes, suspension, engine, transmission, everything works perfectly fine. There's no issue whatsoever. Um, today, I did discover that there's a crack on the flex pipe next to the manifold. So I decided to make a short video on how I'm going to repair it. As I mentioned, the car is cheap, so I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna to waste that much money. And it's just a crack that I believe I can fix uh with some um, artisan or riley's products all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start up the vehicle just listen to the exhaust leak sound All right, guys, and as the engine was running, you can clearly hear that there's a exhaust leak coming from the front. Now, if I was a Honda owner, I would probably be like, you know, that sounds sick. It sounds like I have more horsepower, so I'm going to leave it like that. But I'm not an idiot Honda owner, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that issue. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the engine bay. All right, guys, so I got the Saturn up on jacks. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the exhaust. So on the back of the engine here, this is your exhaust manifold. This is your flex pipe. That's your catalytic converter. And then the rest is all down pipes towards the uh, muffler. Uh, I already found the crack or the leak. Uh, basically when the engine was cold, I started up. I put my hand underneath here and I can feel and hear the exhaust leaking out from the bottom right here. Um, so that was easy. There's a crack on the flex pipe, which is common. All right, since there's a crack on the exhaust underneath here, I'm gonna go ahead and go under the car so we can have a better uh, view. All right, guys, so we're under the vehicle. You can take a look right here. This is the exhaust manifold. This is your flex pipe. And if you take a look right here, there's a nasty crack or gap uh, between these two pipes. Um, so this is where the exhaust fumes, the exhaust gas is coming from. Uh, and also the noise and the vibrations coming from. So we need to repair that. Uh, if you take a look over here, this is your catalytic converter. And if you take a look down there, there is your resonator. And then the down pipe that goes all the way to the muffler. Um, uh, clearly, you can see that they replaced that before. Uh, I'm kind of confused why I didn't replace the whole exhaust system. Because for these cars, the whole exhaust system is pretty cheap. Uh, I'm guessing it's because they didn't want to bother with the rusty ass bolts up here. Because they look pretty nasty. And it looks like you're not going to... It looks like it's just, they're going to snap and then you have to drill, which you don't have enough room. Um, so I'm guessing that's the reason why they only repaired that side. Uh, so today I'm going to go ahead and just fix this up. I'm going to do a cheap repair um, just because we're in the middle of the holidays and I really don't want to start messing around with that with those three bolts because it's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, I know for a fact they're going to break and all that. So if that is the case, I'd rather get a new um, exhaust manifold as well just to be easy on myself because I believe the bolts up here are way easier to remove than these. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna repair this little gap right here for this cheap ass car. All right guys, so let me show you how I'm gonna repair this. Now, of course, the correct way is to replace the whole pipe and all that. I'm being too lazy just because I don't wanna start messing with these bolts. So I'm just gonna use this cheap, cheap JB Weld uh, repair wrap for exhaust. Now, this this could definitely work. It's a temporary fix, of course. It's not a permanent fix. Um, now, let me show you why we can use this. So basically, all it did, all, all this is, is just a bandage that you put around the exhaust pipes. And basically, with the heat, it's gonna basically fuse onto the metal, creating a nice tight seal. 
Now, of course, it's not a permanent fix, but something like this, I would definitely use it for just because I know for a fact, I'm gonna spend about three hours replacing this whole, um, that whole pipe. So the important thing here that if you take a look over here, it says from headers to tailpipe. This is really important because the closer you are to the engine, the closer you are to the headers, the more heat is concentrated there. So you wanna make sure that the wrap can tolerate that. And of course this one can, because it's, it, it says it can withstand up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna definitely use this. It's a cheap repair. Of course, we're gonna use some brake cleaner just to clean off any um, oil or any type of substance that is on the uh, pipe itself. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so the kit came with the wrap, of course, it's in this bag. It came with some gloves and it came with this aluminum foil. I guess it's to finish it off at the end. Um, so how, so I'm just gonna read the instructions in case you guys are curious on how this works. Basically, the first step is to clean the area of all oil, dirt, and grease, which we already did with the brake cleaner. Second step were the gloves, which is common sense. Third step is to actually move the wrap around the bag. Make sure that it soak up all the glue. All right, once you've done that, third step is to actually take it out of the bag. You're gonna put the gloves on. You're gonna wrap this around the pipe multiple times, at least five, five layers around the actual hole. Um, once you've done that, you're gonna put the aluminum foil. I guess it's to keep it in place to make sure that the wrap is nice and tight and doesn't become loose. As for me, I'm gonna do half and half. So I'm gonna wrap the pipe. I'm gonna give it about an hour to cure. And then I'm gonna start it up for 20 minutes. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it is because you guys, you guys need to understand that the exhaust is trying to leave through the hole. So it's gonna create some pressure pushing against and uh, pushing against the seal, which of course, if it's not fuel, uh, fully cured correctly, or if it's not tight enough, it's gonna pop a hole and it's gonna leak again. So I'm gonna do about an hour, let, let the adhesive kind of dry up a little bit and then finish the, the, the curing process by starting up the car for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, and before I start this, I'm just going to remove this heat shield here. It looks like it's held up by one bolt. So I'm just going to remove it so I have a nice, easy access to wrap the exhaust. Now, keep in mind when wrapping, you want to make sure you start off at least two inches away from the actual repair itself. So like stop here and then slowly start, um, start wrapping towards the hole and then past the hole. You want to make sure that uh, you give at least two inches on both sides so that no exhaust um, fumes can leak out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start rolling it up. All right guys, so I managed to wrap up the pipe. Um, I did the best that I can. It was hard to get both hands in there, but I managed to get a nice tight seal. I went ahead and put aluminum foil around it just to make sure that it keeps the seal tight. Um, the kit came with this stupid aluminum tape. Honestly, this thing is trash. It does not stick to anything. Um, so I just went with aluminum foil. Now you think about it, I should have used some of the aluminum foil to seal up the crack and then wrapped it and then use the aluminum foil again to hold down the wrap um, just to make a nice tight seal, but it's whatever. Now I'm gonna let it cure for an hour. I'm gonna see after an hour if I can remove the aluminum foil. If it bonds with the adhesive, then I guess I'll leave it alone. Um, just in case you guys need to know, aluminum foil, I think the boiling point is 1200. Um, the wrap itself can tolerate 1100. So even if you leave the aluminum foil on there, it's not gonna cause any issues. Uh, aluminum foil should be able to handle the heat. Um, so I'm gonna let it cure for about, I'll say 30 minutes, then I'm gonna start it up, uh, let the exhaust heat up, and hopefully that cures everything else. Once again, I'm gonna try to remove the aluminum foil after. That is some fine redneck exhaust ceramic coating I did. Uh, we're just gonna let it cure a little more, and then we're gonna start up. We're gonna start up the vehicle, see if there's any leaks, and also see if the sound disappeared.
guys so i definitely recommend the product uh, for one the exhaust is quieter and i don't smell the exhaust fumes anymore so it definitely sealed up i can still hear a small leak coming from somewhere but uh once again it's not perfect but it is a temporary fix i'm definitely gonna order the exhaust manifold and the whole exhaust system and i'm definitely gonna replace the whole exhaust system but as for right now it did it, it did its job it sealed up the crack and it sounds good um, I know there's a lot of people who use these patches and they for, they leave it like that forever and it works for them. As for me, I, I'm just going to replace the whole exhaust system since it is extremely cheap on these cars. Um, I also know for a fact there's a lot of Honda owners who, who always repair their exhaust with those kind of wraps and they leave it alone like that. I don't know, for some reason, Honda owners love that fart noise coming from their exhaust. I, I don't know, they're, they're weird. Um, so I definitely recommend the product. I'm definitely going to leave a link in the description below in case you guys uh, want to pick up that product for your exhaust system. Um, as I mentioned, it's a temporary fix, not a permanent fix. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.